some of our team are, are looking at this problem online every minute of the day. So, but it's, you know, we may get a call from a mom, daughter's gone. We may get a call from law enforcement needing help. We may get a call from Canada wanting to take our hotel training across, across the country. We, uh, we're pursuing things as well. So we're not just waiting for people to call us. So that's one thing that sets us apart is really different is we're very proactive in this. Mm -hmm. You can't be preventing and stopping it from a, a sitting back. Sure. You have to be out at the front doing something, getting into the mess, getting into the grind, um, not being afraid of the gray. Um, so how do you share a problem with people that don't believe that it exists? And how do you share a solution that most people don't even want to hear? And you keep going. That's why we persevere through this. And we're at that place right now where uh, law enforcement's reaching out to us. People are reaching out to us. Uh, everyone from St. Charles is asking for help. Uh, mm -hmm. Every time we do a training. Uh, is St. Charles asking for help from like the ER or something like that? Training. Yeah. And then once we do trainings, no matter what, if it's law enforcement, first responders, whoever, mm -hmm. we'll usually get a call within a week. Hey, we just saw what happened. Even a community, I did this community training, this was six years ago, and this, uh, this business owner said that, he called me up, he said, I, I think one of my employees is doing exactly what you said. I said, can we get on the phone with her? And same thing, this guy had uh, lured her, done the whole social media thing, and was, had bought her tickets to come down to Vegas. And we, we quickly found out that this guy's a guy that's not somebody worth visiting. So sure. um, we kept her from going down there. But there's there's that time element, too, behind this crime where you don't get 72 hours yeah. a lot of times, you know. And, and what we learned, too, in the in the spaces we we went to, the people like Arden Group um, in the military, into this counterterrorism world, was we had to be hyper focused. We had to be hyper focused on high level Al Qaeda and ISIS and, and those influencers, mm -hmm. uh, which is why why I, I talk about how we're hyper focused on these minors. And to defend law enforcement a bit too, is they they're generalists. They enforce all laws. Okay. So when when a when a young lady becomes up missing, and they go to their protocols, and and the protocol is has she been gone for twenty four hours? And the answer is no. Somewhere along that chain of command, somebody has to say, well, I'm going to give you permission to, to not follow this mm -hmm. protocol. They develop those protocols because the preponderance of these girls that go missing, they, they come back within 24 hours. And they're taking their limited resources and reshifting them. Yeah, I think one of the things that we hear all the time, especially when you know we're advertising what we do online, is, oh, well, you got to start in Hollywood or you got to start with politics. And... That's true, those areas do have issues, but instead we want to start with a guy that's coming through Bend once a month. Yeah. We want to start with your next door neighbor that's buying girls, so that when your 10 year old is 12, 13, 14, she's not their next victim. 